What's up, plant people? In today's video, I just wanted to take you guys around and kind of look at the plants that I got during winter time. Most of these plants are honestly not like rare plants or anything. They're I got like one rare plant, which was my Begonia U641, but I'm not going to be talking about it in this video because I already made a video about it. Most of the other plants that I got, I got like at Lowe's or Home Depot or stuff like that. And I got them for a really good price. They're not like super uncommon, but they're super cute. So... So if you guys want to stick around and watch this video, plant your buds to the seeds. And let's get started. So I have a list here that I wrote down of like the plants that I think I got this month. If you want to see kind of like a preview of this, just pause this. I'm not going to be going in order. Maybe, I don't know. I keep finding more plants that I got that I didn't write down. So. so I guess let's start with the first one. I guess I am gonna go in order. And here is she. This is my Hoya Chelsea. I freaking love this Hoya so much. I love, love, love the shape of the leaves. Not fully round, but not fully leaf shaped. Honestly, this one hasn't done much for me in the time that I've had her. She hasn't grown one single leaf, so... I don't know. I see there's like a tiny little spike right there, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Oh yeah, and there's two Totoros that are just... What are they doing? It's the little spike that I'm talking about. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's it's hitchhiking on the spot, so I don't know. We'll just... I just let him be. Okay. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. I got this huge, huge girl at Home Depot the other day. I think it was last night actually. And she's freaking humongous. I'm pretty sure I got her at about the same price that I got my Hoya Chelsea. <laughs> but my Hoya Chelsea I got at a nursery. So usually, typically, the prices at my local nursery tend to be higher than Lowe's and any big box store. So she's got a lot of vines. I was so excited for this one. I never was super like interested in this one because I just like how the Crimson Queen variegates better, but she's huge, huge. And the price was like amazing. I'm pretty sure I could get this one to flower this year, hopefully. My other one seemed to be a little more immature at this point, so I don't think they'll flower. Here is a more HD close-up of her, but yeah, she's doing amazing. <laughs> well duh she's only been here one day don't mind that shoe i mean i've had her for a day i'm just like super excited about these long trailing strands they seem to be growing little leaves already right there Ooh, that's cute so exciting the variegation though looks hot I haven't wiped off the leaves. I haven't had a chance to, but... Next up is my burgundy rubber tree. And oh my gosh, don't mind the leaves. I literally got her like two days ago. So just don't look at them, okay? I will wipe them. I'll get to that soon enough. But look at that. Like, ah, uh, I just love that burgundy growth. I feel like that's like the best part of it. And just like the super shiny, shiny leaves when they're ripe, of course. I saw a super mature version of this like outdoors and it was so beautiful. I actually took a selfie with it. <laughs> I love this plant so much. This part right here, it kills me. It kills, like, come on. Every time I saw this plant at the nursery, my husband was like, uh, like he didn't care about it. And I was just like, but look, like, and it's about to unfurl so that's really exciting there's a little one over here as well it's hiding somebody had asked me for advice on a plastic plastic tree what is it called ficus elastica but i think theirs was the tanuki version and i was like Ugh. i think i tried my best to give my tips but honestly this is my first one and i've had it for two days or three i don't remember i just know that they like really well aerated soil 
and very very high light hopefully she likes my home i really like her uh. <laughs> i'll definitely wipe her down i'm so sorry you had to see that okay so it's a couple of days later and i just <laughs> That gives me away. I just cleaned the leaves finally. I just used water, no leaf shine or anything because these leaves are just naturally super shiny. So last time I recorded was on Thursday and today is Monday. And it just dropped its caterpillar. I think it was like right here behind the leaf. But I guess since the leaf unfurled out of this thing, it just dropped it they'll usually like dry out anyway isn't it gorgeous and now there's another baby leaf coming up here and it's also super burgundy red i love it the new leaf is super shiny that's my update on my burgundy rubber tree next up i have here my lemon lime maranta which is called scientifically maranta lucanura i think it's marcella or maricella or something like that i think that's what i saw online which is super cool because that's my name so it has my name all over it literally it's done well so far i've watered this like once or twice look at that little roll Ooh, oh i know when these are not happy they tend to crisp up on the edges but yeah i love this one i have the red version of this and it's sitting it's somewhere around here but i really like this one just look at those leaves the veins are super neon see this one just unfurled this is new one over here that's unfurling look at the detail like wow i love it so much i just have it right here sitting next to my south facing window on this cute plant stand that my aunt got for me for christmas she was scared that i wasn't gonna like it or that it was weird that she was giving me furniture for Christmas, but I was like over the moon. I already filled it up, man. I wish I had like 20. All of my shelves are pretty much filled up by now. Kind of, just not at the bottom because then my baby, baby Kiki over here likes to get into all my plants, eat the dirt. She's very bad. She's very curious about the plants. I guess she got that from me. Oh, she's cute. So I got a plant that I've said several times in my videos before that I would never get again, but I just, I needed to work out in my home because this is the plant that got me into plants in the first place. Can you guess what it is? Oh yes, baby. We got a new fiddle leaf fig. <sighs> I've heard... <laughs> That if you get them while they're small like this, it's easier for them to get accustomed to your home. So that's why I got this baby. And also just because I didn't want to spend so much on a big fiddly fig that I'm just going to kill. If any of y'all have any tips on how to keep this dumb boy alive, because obviously I can't. Right, Kiki? Really need some help. That's my fiddle. Pray for him because I am a notorious fiddle leaf killer. Another find from Lowe's is my neon pothos. I love the color of this neon pothos. When the light catches it right, it gives blue hue vibes or something. I had no idea that they could get little freckles or birthmarks like this. Every time I see them in people's videos, I never see that they have these like markings on them. It's so adorable. I was just not sure that it was a neon pothos because of it, but... <laughs> That's so pretty, right? I love it. It really stands out from other green plants. It's just like, woo, I'm here <laughs> like a highlighter. I love the little pot that it came in. Typical terracotta, but look at the shape of it. It's so pretty, so cute. Yep, I do know that this one likes a bit more light than your typical um, golden pothos. I had it 10, 15 feet away from this window and then I saw that they needed more light than that, so I moved it over here, right up next to my south-facing window. And this is where most of my plants are. Mwah, chef's kiss. Another cutie from Lowe's, my Marvel Queen Pothos. 
oh my gosh you guys honestly when i would see this in other people's like pictures and videos i didn't really care for it to be very honest with you and then i saw it at lowe's and i was honestly just <laughs> the variegation are you kidding me it's like a blizzard of green and white just honestly beautiful look at the detail every leaf is just all I know is that I liked it much better once it was mine. I feel like that happens with a lot of houseplants. I say that I don't like, and then I own them, and I'm like, whoa, she's pretty. I also got this thick boy for the office. My husband really liked it, so we got it. Da -da -da. He seems to be very happy here. When I got him, there were these weird leaves on it. As you can see here, it's growing bigger new leaves. So that tells me that it's uh, happy. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, I don't know much about bonsai. I know they're more finicky. Seems all right. We've watered them like once. I would say that this thick trunk does store a lot of water. So it would be one of the ones that likes to dry out. That's just my guess from just looking at it. We liked how he is trimmed and all very weird we love him we got this little pencil cactus from my heb <laughs> i don't know what's going on with him at the top here uh, as you can see it looks very weird <laughs> i don't know if i overwatered it or underwatered it but these sticks are like super flabby they're really flabby and wrinkly and the same thing's going on with this one. And I don't know what that's about. I mean, there's a lot of new growth. I know I watered him like once and he literally grew all of this top crown in two days <laughs> or that's what it felt like anyway. And then the second time I watered it, it did this thing. So I don't know. I feel like maybe it didn't like being overwatered or it's being underwatered. I really don't know. Yep. This is my Begonia Maculata, not the whitey eye. I got it at Lowe's. And it's freaking huge. When I got it at Lowe's, it was really, really sad. The leaves look super droopy. They were all like pointing straight down, like straight, straight down. And then I watered her and she got much, much happier. She doesn't seem to be fussing a lot. And look at those red backs though. They're cute. I do see the crispy tip right there. She is a heavy, heavy drinker. Right now I picked up the pot and it's so light. I just feel like every cane begonia is a thirsty, thirsty. They want water literally every three or two days. And I'm like, no, I can't possibly do that. No, I love her big, big, big polka dots. How could you not love? When the new growth comes in, it comes in like super pink kind of like the back of the leaves but on the front right now i think all of the new growth already matured and it matures into this more neon green color and just so you can see what i'm talking about of the sparkles do you see oh my gosh she's got these like tiny ones on the edges and those big ones and it's just like splashes everywhere we love her she's a queen stunner sparkles dude i need to wipe her leaves as well some new plants that i've gotten i haven't gotten to wipe them so uh -huh. excuse me oh my gosh look at that oh wow wow like oh what in the world what in the world this is my other begonia that I got, also at Lowe's. I'm not sure what species this is, but I think it is Arabian Sunset. Almost looks blue at certain angles and gray. And forest green over there. Obviously, he's very happy because the fuzzy thing right there, that's a leaf that's about to come out. Another one over here, maybe that's a better angle. I feel like he was a punk and she did ballet very gothic plant there's these tiny 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 red hairs on the leaves that it has very punk and the top of the leaves is like oh a good 
good deep red so i actually put this one on top of my most bowl cabinet just so that i can see this view like all day i'm not gonna carry this one because as you can see it's in a big pot this is my uh what do you call that <laughs> this is my monstera at ansonii it's the narrow form and my goodness it is so pretty oh my god i love it so much this is one of the plants that i always told myself like oh i don't like it i like the i like the white form better but you know what i feel like you say that more easily when you don't own the plant yourself but now that i have it it came with like this super beautiful sheen on the leaves it is just insanity. I kind of feel like this one doesn't like to be left without watering for too long. I feel like neither one of my Adansonia is like that. Because if I don't water them, they get these weird yellow leaves. Yep. One thing that I noticed right now is like aerial roots, but they're, they're wet. Like I touch them and they're like slimy. There's slime on them. And I don't know what the heck that's about. None of the other aerial roots are doing that. Why are you wet? It was right here. It's not touching anything wet. I don't know what it's thinking. Let me know if y'all know anything about that. One last look at that sheen. Okay guys, so it's a new day. I did already have my video finished and ready to go, but guess what? I got a couple other plants. So I stumbled upon my local nursery. Actually, I followed them on Facebook and I saw that they posted a shipment of new plants that they got and this baby was in there. And I was like, I need you in my life. I love you, Rick Rack. So Saw they had this cute, cute boy in there and I was like, we gotta go. We gotta go. I don't make the rules. And thankfully, they still had this funky boy in there. I'm so lucky because they said that they were going super fast, which you can understand why. It's amazing. He's so cute. He's so funky. He's so fun. And these grow longer. You can have it as a hanging basket. I love it. I love it so, so, so much. And it was a good price too. Definitely a steal. There were like maybe five left when i went so i'm super 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 happy that i was able to get one i did already have another rickrack cactus but honestly i don't know let me show you my other one so this is my other rickrack cactus He's pretty cute too. I got this one off of Etsy for a very, very good price. He's grown so, so much. He's like growing in a weird pattern over here, as you can see. He's growing this like aerial root on here. I had just trimmed off his aerial roots. I just don't like how they look. They look kind of ugly to be very honest. There's another one growing right there. And look, he's growing a bunch of little babies. So that's really cool but I don't know. It just doesn't compare to this one. This one definitely steals the show. Like, this one literally looks like the algae from SpongeBob. I'm into it. I'm super excited for it to grow more and be like a bigger hanging basket. I actually am already setting up, well, my husband's setting up some hooks on the wall so we can hang him up already. And I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just so pretty like it literally made my whole day when i saw it on facebook i was excited but i was like no i already have one at home <laughs> the regret cactus at home <laughs> this is what i was going for to begin with when i like bought this one i just kind of thought it this one was a baby and it would like eventually grow out into this but it doesn't seem to be they don't seem to be the same species or variety of regret cactus. Super glad I got this one and I love the prize. Yes. So he's hung up. I'll probably be switching the pot sometime, but for now, I'm really loving the look of those ridges that it has. 
and it has a bunch of baby growth on it. This is one that I'll definitely be propagating just to put it like all over my home. I love it. So I also got a package and I got this one off of Mercari. It's my first time ordering anything from Mercari. I barely found out about it because of Nick Alexander's video. He was like talking about Mercari and I was like, what is that? It's like another Etsy slash eBay type of thing. It's amazing. I love it. Very well priced plants on there. I'm also going to be doing an unboxing and with that, I'm going to finish off this video finally. Stay tuned if you want to see what I got. Unless I already told you in the title of this video. And no, this time is not a begonia, so got you there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, I don't know which way to hold this. Feels pretty heavy. I see it. Oh my gosh, it's peeking. This little napkin thing is moistened and they taped it to the pot, I guess to keep the soil from falling out. It worked for the most part. It didn't come with any care instructions. So I'm not sure if I should take out that little hole that it came with in the pot. It's coming out of the bottom of the pot here. Wow, it's so pretty, you guys. Oh no, this leaf fell. We're gonna try to propagate that. Other than that, everything came pretty good. This is very cute. Okay, here comes the close-up. This is Philodendron Silver Sword. And this Philodendron, as it matures, it'll get kind of like an arrow shape or a sword shape leaf and they grow pretty big. I saw this one in Wild Fern's channel. It's like the mature version of this one. As for care tips, obviously I just got it. I read that it likes to climb, so I guess that's why they put it here on a little pole so that it can hang on to something. Otherwise, it just won't reach its full potential according to the internet. It likes a whale draining, loose, airy, mixed soil. I don't know if I should put this in my mill spout. I kind of want to just because it looks so dang beautiful that it deserves to be just played beautifully. It looks like bluish green. Okay, this is gonna be definitely a new favorite. It's one of those that I didn't think much of it. I know I say this all the time, but I didn't think much of, much of it. Before I saw the actual pictures on Mercari of how like shiny the leaves look, I just feel like I say that for every plant. I don't really love it until I own it or I see like a certain picture of it that convinces me that I need it. Prior to this one, I was on the hunt for a Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight, which kind of looks a little similar. Kind of has the same silvery look to the leaves. Honestly, now I'm not in such a rush to get that one because I've heard it's a very slow grower, whereas this one I've read that it's very prolific and very rewarding. This is the better choice in my opinion. I'm not saying I'm not going to get the Trubia Moonlight eventually. If I see a good deal on it, I will definitely be getting that as well. Just because I really like the silvery looking leaves and the name of the plant is just so pretty. Trubia Moonlight. Who is she? I know that Costa Farms is releasing them in some Walmarts and big box stores, but it has not hit mine. My Walmarts have been so, so dry lately. I haven't even seen any trending tropical plants at my Walmart, so it's pretty disappointing because I keep seeing how other people are finding them in their Walmarts and I'm just like go, going to like four Walmarts around me and none of them have it yet. I know we're at the tip of the United States, but 
Can somebody... Hello? I'm here. I've also seen that there's some Monstera Perus. And dude, like, come on. Where are they at though? Not here. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my personal plant journey, please make sure to subscribe. Maybe turn on your notification bell. I don't know. Whatever tickles your... Whatever fiddles your fig goal. I don't know. Bye. Do you like? Do you like? <laughs> You're a gentle baby. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. We did it. We did it, Joe. <laughs>